they play double big so much. What does that kind of front court size or ability to spread it out with that group really do to stress your defense? And why do you think it was such a challenge this whole season, really? Um, I mean, I thought they tossed a lot of different lineups at us. I think at times, whether they went small with Clark at the four or whether they went big with Stokes at the four, um, I thought we could have done a better job of getting some high lows, especially when Clark was playing at the four. Um, but I don't know. I think moving the ball a little bit better, obviously. Like we struggled to struggled to shoot it again very well. I mean, I thought we played really good defense and put ourselves in a position to to win the game. Um, missing nine free throws really hurts us. So um, I think we could have done a better, a little bit better job uh, adjusting and trying to exploit the certain things that you can, um, whether they're giving us a small lineup or, or a bigger lineup. No, Jacob and Matt. Caitlin, all your points coming in the second half tonight. Was there any sort of adjustment you made at halftime to kind of lead to, to that turnaround? Uh, no, I mean, it was definitely a tough first half, but um, I think just, you know, reset, going to the locker room, reset, and honestly proud of myself for how I finished, put together a, a decent game. Um, obviously, would have liked to see a couple more shots go down um, and make a couple more free throws, but um, I thought I was able to respond and bounce back well, and that's that's sometimes really hard to do, especially when you know you get some tough calls there in the first half that don't go your way, and then you know the ball wasn't really rolling my way either to start the game. So um, proud of myself and uh, proud of our team. I thought we were resilient. There was a lot of things that just didn't just didn't go our way. So, um, but overall, I think we kind of did it to ourselves. Um, I'm proud, like I said, I'm proud of our defense, but there was just areas where we could have, you know, executed a little bit better than made for throws as well. You know, Matt and Alexa. Yeah, Caitlin, okay, well, last time you hit the base in the basket, uh, mm, you know, yeah, the, that's crazy. The, mm. the ref told you it was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, I was just wondering if you got another explanation tonight. Well, I mean, no. they're never going to overturn that. It's just one of the rules, I guess, um, of the game. So it's in the rule book. It is what it is. Um, that's why, I mean, I tried to get my last one taken away. They just didn't take it away. Um, and it stinks because I feel like at, Half of my technicals this year, I got one for the inadvertent contact to the face in the Minnesota game, and then two for hitting the, the stanchion of the basket. So it's like one was a complete accident, and then the other two were um, just a little frustration with myself. So um, I think I could have done a better job um, keeping my emotions in, in check, but at the same time, like, really? <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, but it is a rule, so they have to call it. I get it. It's just, it's tough. Well, Alexa and Christine. Caitlin, um, two quick ones, if you don't mind. You broke the single season assist record today. Mm -hmm. It's also, you know, the Asia broke the points record for mm -hmm. single season. Kate, or, uh, Angel did for rebounds. Just for all this history you made <laughs> with, you know, you, you three, you individually, how cool is that to see throughout the season? I'll let you maybe start that one and then yeah. I guess I call it. I mean, I think it definitely just speaks to the whole entire year and like how historic it has been for this league and how great the basketball has been for the league. And, you know, we're not even to the playoffs yet. I think that's what's so fun about it is you're just going to continue to see, you know, records be taken down, but also I think really good basketball. Um, and that's why it's been so fun to watch. That's why the fans have been showing up. The viewership has been, you know, absolutely crushed this year. So, um, I think everybody's just kind of raising their game. The competition's just getting better and better. And it's fun as a competitor to show up in this league every night and know you have to bring your best because, you know, who's ever on the other side of the court from you, they're going to bring their best. And that's what makes it fun. So um, it's been cool to, to watch everybody really, you know, take a step up and elevate. And to be a part of that has been really fun for myself, too. And then um, just going up against Vegas, obviously they're kind of the gold standard having won the last two championships. What do you feel like this group has learned about what it takes mm -hmm. to go up against a team like that and, um, you know, the small details that much matter to, try mm -hmm. to them? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think we have moments where we're, where we're really good and then we have moments where we, you know, have some lapses. Like, to beat a team like this, I feel like we said this so much this year, like, we can't have Christy calling a timeout right to start the third quarter. Like that's something that just can't happen for us. And I feel like that's happened so much this year to start the second half is like having to use a quick timeout because they go on a 5-0 run or a 6-0 run or something like that. So um, I think we clean up that area, but at the same time, I think it should provide us some confidence. You know, every single time we've played this team, we've gotten better and better and closer and closer. And to see how far we've come from where we first started, I think it was their, our seventh or sixth game of the year. And uh, I think we gave up 99 points and lost by about 20. So, and now I felt like we were really in this game and, you know, 
we convert a few more times and convert our free throws, you know, hopefully we're walking away with one. Christine, last one. And Caitlin, so zero points in the first half. You come out and you have those two threes and the crowd's going crazy. And I mean, this crowd, high school football night, right? And it's yeah. packed to the awesome. rafters, unbelievable crowd. Can you put us in your shoes, in your head a little bit? What does that feel like when you're bringing this team back? You get those two threes, the crowd's going crazy. You're doing your stuff. Can you put that into words for us? Thanks. Um, I mean, it's definitely energizing. Like, I feel like that's something people appreciate about my game is I play to the crowd really well. I know when to, um, but also it helps me too. Like, I, it's not just like, you know, to help our entire team. Like, it helps me. I hope it's fun for them. Like, you make a couple shots and you know that the fans got your back. Like, the cheer they let out when I made that first layup. Like, you could tell it was like, ah, oh, finally, this girl could score again. <laughs> um, but now, I mean, I felt I feel very lucky to play um, in this arena and in front of a fan base that's supporting, you know, women's basketball like the way they are. And like, <laughs> like it's a true sellout. Like, it's packed to the top. Like, people are here to scream. Like, it's hard for us to get tickets to for our families. So, um, I mean, I can imagine it's hard for everybody else, but uh, I think as a player, like that's something that you just thrive off of, like hearing the crowd go crazy. I think especially on defense, like if you can put a little run together and go down and you need to stop and you hear them and you hype them up and they listen to you, like um, you feel kind of powerful at the same time. So it's it's definitely fun. I mean, I wish we could have got the, got the win for them, but um, I know Sunday's gonna be a lot of fun too.